I'm Sabrina welcome to the s-factor studio I have said it probably a thousand times um, I don't have what I consider the luxury of spending hours of time in my craft room so if you're like me and you have a thousand things that take up your time and attention but you still love to craft then those products and techniques and ideas that allow us to make something very pretty in the shortest amount of time um, is always exciting. It's exciting to me anyway. So one of my favorite types of embellishments are um, sentiments and words. And I don't often build a stash because I never know what theme or color I'm going to use on any given project. There's really one product that I, that I build stash with. Outside of that, I don't. So what I do like to collect though are thickers. And if you don't know what thickers are, I love thickers because they are so versatile. So it doesn't matter, oh it's front and back, I forgot to show, they're actually front and back. Um, it doesn't matter what type of paper crafting you're doing, if you are making a tag or a card, if you're scrapbooking or journaling, if you do mixed media, I've even used them on um, decor pieces. The challenge I have with thickers is that um, sometimes if I'm looking for a specific set that has maybe a certain word or a quote on it, um, it's not always available, it might be out of stock or I just can't find it. And like I said, um, with stash, what I have in my stash doesn't necessarily always coordinate with the project that I'm doing at the time. So I'm going to share my trick for making thickers um, with the dies that I have on hand. Okay, before we start the actual project, I just wanted to say with my... Um, sentiments and word embellishments i like them not only to be pretty but to also be dimensional and i've talked a lot about this not your mama's cardstock i love this cardstock it's 130 pound cardstock it's very sturdy so i have made word sentiments with this cardstock and usually what i do is layer anywhere from three to five layers of whatever the word or sentiment is that i'm using it makes a very sturdy embellishment. However, for me, and this is just a, a personal thing, even when, and this is just pieces of the cardstock, but even when they are adhered precisely together, personally, just my own personal, I don't like the look of the layering on the side of the embellishment. And again, that's just a very, that's a me thing. Um, so I just, I wanted to point out why I like what I'm about to show you better than using the layers of the cardstock. Not only that, if I'm making several words and I'm layering anywhere from three to five layers, it is very time consuming. So I wanna show you here what I'm talking about. These are the thickers and on these thickers you can see it's just a very, it's a smooth, it's a very, it's seamless. There's a, it's seamless dimension and that's, that's, I like that look, even though it's on the side of it, it's not the top of it. I just prefer that type of um, dimensional look. So what we need, and I'm using very, I'm using a small piece to show you because I have a lot of samples, foam, um, three dimensional and above. So three, four or five dimensional foam. Right now I have pieces of my three dimensional foam. Whatever word dies I happen to have on hand, this is just one that says, I believe it says loved. So my word die, my three dimensional foam, and vinyl. Yep, vinyl. I'm gonna get into uh, the types that I like to use, but I'm gonna show you real quickly how fast this is. Stick with me because if you have not seen or used the Style Tech glitter vinyl 
you want to see what that looks like. I'm going to remove the backing from the vinyl and just put that on my piece of foam and smooth it out and just make sure that there are no bubbles. Take your die and then I'm going to run it through my Big Shot. Resist the temptation to go forwards and backwards. You don't want to do that. You just want to pass it through one time. die remove it carefully you don't want to tug on the foam but it comes out very easily and then remove it from the foam and look at that all right I'm gonna take these little pieces out so this is it and I love it I love how this looks. Of course, you can go ahead and cut a backer piece like out of cardstock. However, this the foam is sturdy enough and I like that it can kind of be manipulated a little bit. And in fact, I think this foam is probably a little bit thicker than even the um the thicker's foam. The reason why I said to resist um the temptation to go forwards and backwards I noticed that with my smaller dies and my more intricate dies and I'm going to show samples more samples in a second I noticed with the smaller more intricate dies that sometimes um, it does not cut completely completely through the vinyl and so there would be like little edges that would kind of tug on the vinyl if you come across that situation just get a, a, a light piece of chip wood or a piece of cardstock and fold it in half and put it beneath your sandwich just to add like an extra shim and it'll give you the extra pressure needed to cut through all of the, um, you know, all of the areas. So as I was saying, personally, I like using the, um, the matte vinyl and the glitter vinyl. And if you have not seen or used this, what is it, Style Tech, this Style Tech glitter vinyl, I don't know, I can't tell if it's picking up. This is some of the best glitter vinyl I have I have used. Like these colors make me drool. And this is Style Tech. I'll put in the, the description box a link. If you're in Georgia or a state that's close to Georgia, there's a place where we can actually, I think those were the only two that I had left. I have bits and pieces of other colors and I'm going to show you, I'll show you samples in a minute. But there's a place in Georgia, so we're able to pick up our orders locally, but the shipping is really fast. There's also another place. So the one in Georgia is Brilliant Vinyl, and the other place that I like to use is 143 Vinyl, and they are located, I believe, in Kansas, but both of these places have excellent shipping, quick shipping, and excellent customer service. Um, let me show you samples. That's the... That's the glitter vinyl, and I'm not even sure of the colors. Do you remember the colors? The one was like champagne, and one was rose gold. And, then and I can't, one. I can't tell through the screen if it's coming through. So these were some smaller dyes. These are actually. Um, from recollections that I got at Michael's. So these are some of the smaller, some of the smaller words. And you can see it's great thickness. I actually want to try making it with probably um, the four millimeter foam. And then 
I also use these uh, Tim Holtz dies and I like the size and the font so any you can use any word die that you have but I, I like this particular font it's a good size that's with just the word but I like the fact that these particular dies also come with the background and so these are them with the with the background the outline what do you call that the outline mm -hmm. um, this one I forget this hugs I think was a paper tray ink die these intricate dies are um, some Heidi swap dies that say thank you and lovely and I'm not even sure. I'm going to show, I'm actually preparing Happy Mail, so I'm going to show how I packaged it in the Happy Mail. I love this idea. Now, of course, you can use cardstock with foam, and that also has a pretty look. I, I love the look of this particular vinyl on, on these word dies. Not only that, it eliminates any use of um, adhesives. You don't need glue or, or adhesive because the vinyl is already sticky and it's, it's thin enough that it doesn't create any sort of bulk. So you get that seamless, very pretty look. To me, that's, that looks like a thicker. <laughs> that looks like a thicker sticker to me. So these are the samples of the these are the samples of the um, of the Happy Mail that I made. I just created a, a backer card. So that's grateful, joyful, loved, and thankful. That's the the coral color. I believe this is champagne. One is champagne, and one is rose gold. That might be the rose gold and again I can't looking in the screen I can't tell if it's coming through if the colors are coming through but they are so pretty and this is the matte this is the the matte Starcraft vinyl I think there's a shiny one as well and here so that one is what is it burgundy and these are black And again, I just, I love it. I love the way they came out. And the colors, I'm, let me see if I know what, what colors. One is dark gray. Uh, I think they're all dark gray. I ran out of the white foam, so it's on black. And that's the dark gray. And this is just, it's a very quick, it's it's quick and it's pretty and to me I know I said it a bunch of times to me it looks just like the thickers so then you can also do you see the way these thickers have elements you do the same thing with your dies that that you have that are elements so for example here's a bow and I used um, I believe it's from this one this is the Spellbinders Happy Holidays uh, no, it says Happy Holidays. This is Holly, the Holly Frame Gala. And there's a bow in there, so I made the bow. And I also cut a few of the, the hearts, if you can see that. But again, using that same idea, like these pieces and elements of these stickers, same, same look. And from this Spellbinder set, I cut out Happy Holidays and the deer. I added a little bow and a little rhinestone and made a little backer card to gift those. Actually, this one is out of the bag, so you might be able to see it a little bit better. That's that holograph, holographic, what's called opal, the Stylotech Opal Blue. And it is so pretty. So I thought this was a great way to imitate 
these um, these thickers embellishments but using whatever dies you have in your stash so I hope this gives you some ideas I hope you are inspired to create your own awesome projects to share and use to encourage others thank you for watching God bless have a great day and I'll see you in the next video bye